And hi, a warm welcome from Tampa, Florida, and along with Mark up there. Are you in Toronto, Mark? Yes, I am, Mike, and it's a pleasure to be with you today. Okay, and we want to welcome everyone to the 2021 Virtual Leadership Summit for the International Newspaper Group. It's always ENP's pleasure to be the host organization of this, this, this fine event each and every year. And Mark, first on the docket, correct me if I'm wrong, is the uh, ING ENP All Star Awards. And correct me if I'm wrong again, we had tons of entries this year, tons of submissions, right? Mike, we had such an amazing uh, event of people participating in this. It was more than four times we had had the previous year. And from a larger uh, perspective of newspapers and participants. And this year, we had to create another category, which was for the pre-production side mm -hmm. of things, that there were so many entrants that were in that category. And we realized that they are an integral support and so critical to how production operations work that we wanted to recognize them as well. So this year we have the third category, which is the pre-production to go along with the national and the regional awards. So this year, what we're going to do is we're going to recognize one runner up and then obviously uh, award one winner in each of the three categories. The first category is the national category. Am I correct, Mark? That's right. So who's our runner up and for national? So the, the national runner up was Kim Hammett from the Washington Post, and she was nominated by Catherine Coles, uh, the director of client solutions. Kim was uh, an amazing entrant in this year in that Catherine had shown how much she appreciated uh, Kim's ability to motivate her team members, to uh, look at optimization and organizing for efficiencies and cost savings and the role that it meant to uh, the advertising side of the operations and also into the production world uh, meant a much stronger uh, process, but it's her leadership that really stood out uh, as the runner up in this award. That's great. And of course we had a winner and who is our winner this year? So Mike, the uh, winner of the national was uh, Scott Cantor, the free press manager of the Houston Chronicle. And he was nominated by Greg, Greg Malcolm. Uh, the VP of operations. So why don't we uh, head on down to Texas now? Because we had the advantage of being able to do a Zoom with our nominee um, at, and obviously the person who nominated our winner. So Mark, with your permission, let's head on down to Texas. Well, hello and welcome. I'm Mike Blinder from Editor and Publisher Magazine. I am sitting in Tampa Bay, Florida. Let me take you now to Toronto. Mark, you are in Toronto, right? I am in Toronto. How do you spell the word color again? Just kidding. Mark, take it away. Mark, president of the International Newspaper Group. Uh, welcome, guys. And I think this is a great opportunity. Um, you guys, um, Greg nominated Scott Kampner for uh, the All Stars Awards. And uh, we are pleased to be here telling you now that you have won the national um, All Stars Award, and want to congratulate you uh, for everything that you've done. And by all accounts, you've had a very interesting year with uh, a lot of things going on. Not only the COVID, which was common to so many, but you also had the freezing rain situations that caused power, and then you had floods again. So you guys have. Um, should be looking out for the four horses of the copulets. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, want, I want to thank you. You, you. You've done a fantastic job by all accounts. And Greg, you know, it shows a lot in your organization that you uh, look out for and recognize the talent and dedication that Scott brings. Yes, so, he does. Congratulations. He does. Uh, and here's, here's the award. That uh, for the All Stars, and uh, thank you very much. Yes, it's, it's an unexpected 
Well, that's great. It's great. You deserve it. You you work really hard, and uh, and and it's really like it's a daily task. It's it's no different than it was in January or February than it is today. You're you're still doing what you do every day, and and applying the same amount of effort, and that's just fantastic. Not work for a war. How many years have you? How many years has he been there? Uh, this is twenty five this year. Oh, so you so you're brand new. You don't know where the bathroom yes. is, sir. I mean, yes, brand new. Brand new. Twenty five years. I'm not that old. <laughs> Looks like you started when you were four. I mean, obviously. <laughs> um, what advice would you give to um, other operations people that have to still deal with some of the perils of our new normal? If I may use that overword term, what keeps you going every day, sir? What keeps me going every day. Uh, Keeping that spirit up. No, I just I, it's it's it's. It's something you got to take pride in. It's something you just, you, you got to accept. Whatever whatever happens, you know you, you got to work through it, regardless of what's going on around you. Being short, being you know, short staff, uh, the quality of staff in a lot of cases, and you just got to you know you have a job to do, and you just have to do it. When you were nominated, uh, Mark, what did they say when he was nominated? What was the uh the bullets or what did we have in the nomination that made you mark uh, pick our winner uh, the, the the aspect of you know the amount of work that you 518 press runs in a crisis you know most people are, are just happy to get through like 50 in a week <laughs> um, and and you've obviously got a depth and a team that supports you so well and you you got an in crises, you, you got to know who you can rely on and um, the resources, but it also means that you get the support from the top too because, uh, you know, looking at, at this, it sounds like you've got a unique team, um, but you are a dedicated person to getting you through uh, so many difficult circumstances. You know, most people, if you're dealing with one a year, it's, it's a challenge. But you got dumped with three. You know, Mark and Mike, I, I'd add to that. And Scott, as you can tell here, is a very humble person. But he represents a great group of people back in the shop that, as you said, get amazing work done every, every night of the week. And he does it in such a way that is so supportive. And, and given, Mike, like your comment, you know, the uniqueness particularly of these last 18 months and keeping his folks safe and and healthy in this environment and, and even to an extent of in an encouraging way uh getting people who were on the fence about even getting vaccinated to feel comfortable and getting vaccinated and keeping keeping the the you know the family here at the workplace and their families at home safe and sound and accomplishing all of this i gotta tell you it's one of the most impressive performances i've seen we all can't write the stories. We all can't sell the ads. But I got to tell you, without getting a good quality newspaper produced every day, we wouldn't be where we are. So, Scott, from my standpoint, I know from Hearst and from all of your, your peers at the Houston Chronicle, just congratulations and thank you so much for what you do. Well, that was fun to watch, Mark. So now we're moving on to the regional level. Is my correct, sir? And you've got our runner up ready to go? Yes, we have. The regional runner-up for the um, awards there was Tim Kramer, the production director uh, of the Santa Fe New Mexican. And uh, the nominator was Nancy Lopez, the digital enterprise director. And he has shown an incredible uh, effort over the last year in producing a lot of work and uh, bringing in um, a lot of energy to double the capacity of what they were doing uh, in their operation. And uh, he, he's been ranked among the highest uh, standards from many other news organizations. Uh, so he's recognized. And I know Tim has shown up on a lot of nominations uh, for joining the IMG board too. So. Uh, he has fulfilled a, an amazing role in there, and I want to congratulate him 
and Nancy for nominating him. All right, then let's move on to our winner in the regional category. And that, I think, takes us to Santa Monica, California. Am I correct, sir? That's right. The regional uh, award for that was awarded to uh, Paul Kolaluka. Uh, and as you know, he is a very enterprising, very uh, colorful individual, passionate about the industry. And uh, he was nominated by Terry Leifest, the VP group publisher. So let's head on uh, down to California now and, and give Paul his award um, via Zoom. Hello. Hey, good morning. Here, hey, Terry. <laughs> I'm a little jet lagged, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that's, that's quite all right. And you're up very, very early. Let me get, we're kind of bi coastal here. I'm in Tampa Bay. Right. By the way, with a great baseball team, I know no one cares. They're always looking at the Red Sox and they're, they're looking right. at the, I mean, but we're, you know, we're really rocking here. Um, Mark is up in Toronto. They have a decent baseball team. And you guys are on the West Coast up really, really early. Am I right? We, we are. Yeah. But this was just what worked into all our schedules. So well, that's wonderful. I'm Mike Blinder, publisher of EMP Magazine, along with Mark Hall. With uh, up in Toronto, who is the president of ING, Terry. I'm going to let Mark take it from here. Perfect. Thanks, Mark. Terry, um, I just want to say thank you uh, for no uh, the nomination of Paul because uh, we've gone through all of these selections and uh, we are pleased to announce that Paul is the uh, recipient of the regional. Uh, production All Stars Award. Oh, uh, <laughs> out of this, it, it was uh, a, a big selection of nominees. And, yeah, we had a uh, big one this year. Large, large yeah. group. Too. Uh, and you know, going through it, and the, the team that did the selection, you know, were pretty much unanimous in uh, selecting Paul as the recipient. Um, you know, reading through everything that. Paul's had to face and stepping into other roles in October and having to uh, kind of do double duty to try and keep the ship going. And then not only that, you started to uh, put together a strategy to take on extra commercial work uh, with McClatchy and everyone. You know, those are, it shows that you're going above and beyond on just about every aspect. Uh, but you must have had a, a vision, a, a drive, uh, a, a sense of purpose to uh, achieve um, the goals and objectives that you wanted to do personally and uh, that aligned with, with the company. Um, this is what All Stars is about, being able to recognize the people that have done amazing tasks and uh, we just wanted to say thank you and congratulations. Uh, thank you. <laughs> blown away right now. Uh, I, I really appreciate this. I had no idea why I was here at 7.15 in the morning. Because <laughs> I'm not a morning Except person. Except he does what his publisher <laughs> asked him to do, Always, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I, I've, been, I've been trying to rack my brain for over a week or two with we're trying to find clues. <laughs> why? Why? What, what's the big talk at seven? I have this. Yep. Um, I have Paul, a, Paul I, I we'd like to, you know we know that it's been a very interesting, interesting time for all of us in the industry. I mean, moreover, you know, with all the different challenges you've had, um, can you possibly give us just your insights and how you've kept your your attitude up and how you just kept <laughs> pushing yourself along and, and it, it, with all the different challenges you face, sir? Sure. I mean, personally, I mean, this is my own experience. I mean, I've been in the business for 20 years. Uh, I come from New Jersey. I come from a line of other press operators. My father was a press yeah. supervisor for the Bergen Record for years. Wow. Um, By the way, if I may say, born and bred in Philadelphia. So we both know it. Okay. We both know a tasty <laughs> cake, close. right? Yeah, yeah. we're close. Yeah. <laughs> So, but um, yeah, for, for coming from there, we worked in Hackensack, New Jersey for a lot of years. So they closed a the production facility down. So uh, he, he retired from the business. I went forward, uh, I relocated an hour north to Middletown, New York. 
And at some point I said, you know, if I'm going to make this, uh, you know, a career, I'm going to have to step up. I'm going to have to move up quickly because I, you know, I saw the, uh, the challenges of the industry and the changes. I mean, we're talking about early 2000s moving into uh, the 2010s. So uh, I climbed the ladder as fast as I could and became basically an assistant manager. And I said, this isn't enough because my bosses are not much older than me and I, I can't assassinate them to try and take their job. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to relocate. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to find my own place somewhere else. And it's been quite a mission because um, 2016, I, I rolled the dice. I came out to Ventura, California. It was the first time I've ever stepped foot in Ventura or in California, just, just coming for the job interview. It was my first time in California. But it was a position with Gannett, which I thought would have been the one. I thought Ventura, California, with the Ventura star, was going to be the one that would put me in that position. And I was almost right. Gannett shut the place down and uh, left me sitting here without a carpet under me. And I'm like, well, now what? And then uh, sometime after that, Santa Marie was looking for a press manager. Same kind of position, same kind of offer that the production director would be retiring soon. And you can kind of just slide right in there. I'm like, okay, I've heard all this before, but let's go for it. And uh, came here and then I think I was a press manager for like a year and a half. And then on my birthday, exactly on my birthday, 40th birthday, my 40th birthday. So welcome to the 40s, Friday the 13th. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, wasn't Terry. Well, we can up, yeah, right? it wasn't Terry that walked into the building, but I remember that morning I'm sitting here with, with the uh, previous production director, the IT guy, and your favorite distribution director, <laughs> Fryer, and we were like, why are we here? What's going on? And all of a sudden, we see HR reps from Iowa just walking in the building that we're like, oh, something's going on. So that's when we learned that we were sold, and uh, I'm like, well, here we go again. I'm, I'm sitting there hoping, please don't be Gannett, please don't be Gannett. And <laughs> luckily it wasn't. Nothing, nothing bad about Gannett other than the previous experience. So, and then of course, three days later, COVID became our life. You know, it pretty much took over everything. So it was a challenging week. It was a challenging week for me. And during that, George retired. George, oh yeah. And then literally <laughs> it was like, it was, yeah. He was supposed to retire down the road and it it's like tomorrow's to, my last yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. So in one week it was company <laughs> sold, George retires and COVID. So I said, wow, I'm going to have to not only just take over this new role, but it's going to be a transition of, of uh, software and, and vendors. And it, it was just everything all at once. So um, luckily we, we had a good plan here and we have good personnel, we have a good team. You know, so uh, I mean, when, when I see something like this, I'm very grateful, but like this has to be shared with my press team, with my with my mail room, with Braxton. I know I, we're gonna have I a mean, party. I mean, especially Braxton. I could break out the champagne here. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Good idea. 7 15 in the morning. Add some yeah. add some orange juice if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> right, sure. Yeah, that's fine. But um yeah, I mean, the, the, main, the main drive was, you know, I, I wanted to uh, show that I can do it. <laughs> and and uh, thank you. And, and like, I think I said before, I, I always said, like, you, you ask God or the universe, like, hey, you know, I want this. And then all of a sudden you get it and you're like, oh, I didn't mean like this. You know? <laughs> but, then, but, then, <laughs> but then you just do it. <clears throat> you just dig your heels in and, and you realize that you have the support and you have the tools to do it and you just do it. Well, I wanted to be honest with you. You did not. In and you make it work. Yeah. Right? We at ENP strive to keep our ear to the ground. The truth is, your operation has been sold as of this. Just kidding. No. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not no we are. We are honored to have such a great guy uh, join our second class of ENP ING All Stars. And we are, and just, we just wanted to tell you that you're an inspiration to the entire industry. Am I right, Mark? Just keep up the great work. Absolutely. Uh, uh, yeah. I got one question, Paul. Yeah. You know, when did you see the opportunity and knew that you had the um, capability in your crew and the press to be able to take on and ramp up such uh, a large commercial uh, intake of work? Right, going you know, for 200,000 impressions. You, 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 you did million. something and, and must have known something on the capabilities of what you could do and the planning and the orchestration of taking that work on uh, is no easy feat. And right. you obviously had a lot of acumen to, to know how to play that. It, de it definitely helped that as a press manager here for two years, I was on the press, running the press uh, almost every day. 
And, uh, and it also helped coming from a very busy production facility in upstate New York. We were running around the clock and then coming here and, you know, I don't want to uh, downplay the work that we were doing with Lee Enterprises, but we definitely had a lot of windows for production. And um, I was like, we, we could be doing more. I mean, this is a pretty good crew here. This is a really good press. We have the tools here. Uh, we, just, we just need the actual work. And um, I would talk to the crew here and there while, while I was working with them. I was, wasn't trying to scare them at all, but I'm like, you know, you guys, we could be doing more work here. And they're like, yeah, yeah, maybe. And I'm like, no, totally. You know, you know we could do it. You know we can pull it off. And they, they were on board. <clears throat> they, were, they were on board. But I, I think just having the hands-on approach and really getting in there and getting dirty and, and, and being there in the grind of, of the hours and the shifts, you're able to see more exactly of, of what can and can't happen. And um, yeah. it was just obvious to me, you know, it, with, with, with work and um, a, li a little energy and a little pep, I, I didn't see why not. It, basically, that's what it is. It's why not. It's always why not. You right. know? Well, we well, want to congratulations. salute you. Congratulations. You deserve it. Have a little champagne and OJ on us. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and ask Terry here for a day off. Would you do that sometime? Yeah. Have, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> congratulations. Oh, well, well done. Well, done. well, that gentleman was very, very well spoken. Um, uh, I got to say that <laughs> that was one of my favorite, favorite wins because uh uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Mark, but I got to say that um, Paul is, 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 does not have a loss for words. <laughs> he, I, I could sit and listen to him for hours, but we got to move on now to the final category, which is pre-production. And our pre-production ING All-Star runner-up is who, Mark? The runner-up for this year's pre-production was Kevin Jones. Um, and he is the COO of the St. Louis American newspaper. And he was nominated by Robin Britt, the controller. Kevin's role in this was unique and we, I felt it was important to uh, recognize him and as the runner up because he did so much in understanding what avenues he had to explore getting revenue and uh, develop a way to stay uh, relevant, motivated in the industry, in the community, and uh, allow the voice to be heard uh, throughout the sort of Midwest that uh, meant so much to so many. And the way that he did it was unique and how much he generated over $350,000 in grants uh, to prevent the reduction of staff and salaries you know, that, that is a unique approach that was worthy of mentioning and uh, made him this, the number two selection in uh, the category. So Boy, we needed so to recognize him for that. I, I think, but definitely that's true. But let's get to our winner now for pre-production in the ING All-Star Awards. And our winner is who, Mark, in this category? The winner in this category was Julie Heron. Mm -hmm. um, she is the pre-press manager of the Las, Las Vegas uh, Review Journal. Uh, she was nominated by uh, Janet Owen, the VP of Operations. And Julie stood out in that area and, and, and she was so humble when she received the award. I know. Uh, and for the for the role that she does and the emphasis on what we determined was the glue that kept that operation together. Uh, she was truly humble uh, and uh, exuding the praise to the rest of her team and uh, operations. So well, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's take ourselves now to Las Vegas, Nevada and give Julie her award. Huh? Yeah. Hey. Hello, Julie. Hey, Julie. Hi. Is that Julie? Yes. Julie, I'm I, I'm Mike Blinder. I'm the uh, publisher of editor and publisher magazine. The good-looking gentleman Hi. with the eyeglasses is Mark Hall. <laughs> 
He's the president of the International Newspaper Group. And I think you know Todd, do you not? Do you know Todd? Yes. Well, congratulations. You. you are an Operations All-Star 2021. Congratulations, Julie. We just wanted to oh, give you an award and just tell you how much you rock. Congratulations. Mark, take it away. Okay. Julie, um, we heard so much about you from your boss, Janet Owen. And uh, she can't say enough good things about it. And following up and looking at everything that you've done, you are probably the glue that keeps the operation going. Um, your versatility and your dedication has been outstanding. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's through Janet and uh, what she's seen and what you've done and the rest of your team, um, they recognize you as an all-star. And we wanted to recognize this in the pre-production um, aspect of the All-Star Awards. So we have national, uh, regional, and now the pre-production. And we felt it so important that people that are upstream from most of the production operations um, get recognized for their integral importance on making sure that the whole operation runs smoothly. Um, you have been outstanding. And from everything that you've done in, and your versatility from different output devices and changing heat sets and commercial, you've really stepped up to the plate. And this is why we want to recognize you this year. Congratulations. And I'd like Janet to say a few things about how things work. Uh, I... Uh... I'm just proud as heck of you. And I Thank certainly you. am. Um, I think we all know what value you bring to this operation. And as Mark said, you are the glue to hold it together. Thank we you. all appreciate that. And um, we, we just can't say enough about it. Uh, we, we know when you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> emails uh, never stop. Yeah, <laughs> the emails never stop. And for those of you on the other end of the phone, we asked your husband to come in, who's also a pressman here. And they matched today. So it's very much in your blood. Very yes. much. Yes, they were born and raised in this business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When our oldest son was younger, he said he was going to be a pressman when he grew up. <laughs> he didn't become a pressman. But <laughs> What does your husband have to say about your dedication, if I may ask? Or is he just going to stay in the awesome. <laughs> and who is a little too much? <laughs> and is this the entire staff behind you there? How many are these all people from your operations department in the room? These are most of the managers um, and most of her staff is here. Um, we've got a couple of people on the night side that might not be in here. But uh, yeah, for the most part, um, everybody's here that works on the pre-press and the day side press room and the day side yeah. mail room. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to ask a question, if I may, of, uh, of Julie. Um, oh, and creative services, by the oh, way. Creative, we creative got, services? We well, yeah, there he is. Hi, he's <laughs> running the, running the <laughs> Julia, uh, it's, it's been a very interesting 18 months, you must agree, right? I mean, with all the stuff going on. Yes. Um, how have you handled morale? How have you kept the team going? How have you, do you have any advice you'd like to give others? Because this is actually, I hate to tell you this, being recorded is going to be played at, a, at our annual conference. So you're going to have a lot of uh, oh. other operations people from around the world watching this. So we may ask you as, a, as one of our all-stars, uh, what, what did you do that just... Uh, kept things going over that time? How did you stay positive? What's the secret? Well, maybe we should ask them. But <laughs> <laughs> I try to um, make sure that I showed them the appreciation every day, complimented them on their time, spent everything that they took into uh, account. Whenever we had problems, we every once in a while would have a get together where we would bring in lunch or just uh, Nothing Bunt Cake. I don't know if you've heard of them, but that's something really wonderful <laughs> that <laughs> makes everybody smile. Um, 
the biggest thing is I try to jump in with them so that I can understand exactly what they're doing and be able to help um, avoid problems before they happen. And here, here. we all work together. Whenever we're making a decision, I make sure that I include them so that I know that what I think will work will definitely work to help us all get the paper out. <laughs> Mark, what would you like to ask? Julie, uh, I mean, you've been in this business for quite some time. Uh, did you have, uh, has that been part of what's helped you get through the last 18 months or so? I would say it definitely has all the way from back in the day when we used to paste up and typeset things where you'd only see two lines of type at a time and then it was gone. <laughs> I think it helps you to figure out workarounds when you have to, when things don't go as planned or the way they normally do and you have to adapt. So I think that definitely has helped. And Judy, with the change of everything in the workplace and uh, recruitment and stuff, how do you see ways of retaining uh, the talent and the team? She didn't do too well on that this year. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Because we've done so well in the past, I had uh, longtime employees who um, left one, one retired, one and started a new career actually where she could make her own hours and do things. The other one went to work for a family member who was able to um, give her a lot of perks that you know we yeah. couldn't as a company that publishes every day. So, but I think normally, you just have to keep everybody included in everything. And um, recruiting people is a definite challenge now in, in our current environment. So you, uh, it, it's hard, it's tough. Todd, where do you come to us from? Are you in New York City right now? Where, where, where are you based out of? I, I'm actually uh, in my home office in Connecticut today. But, You're in Connecticut uh, today. You got a senior VP, VP position for the, the company, correct? You, uh, how many presses or how many operations are you overseeing on a daily basis? Um, we have twenty. Uh, we have twenty six national print sites across the country, uh, um, and we have uh, in our wholly owned New York Times zone facility in New York. We have uh, seven presses. So, All right. So here we are by coastal in a way, and you're, we're now saluting a team in Las Vegas. I don't want you to pick favorites, but this, this team must rock to have this kind of a, of a, of a recognition going on. What do you, what do you have well, to say about that? Well, all I can say is that, you know, Janet and I have known each other for many, many, many years. Uh, well, I won't even go into how long, but uh, many years. And she's just spoke so highly of, of, of Julie and, and, uh, you know, it's just well deserved, Julie. Really. Well deserved. And just have to talk congratulations. There yeah. you go. Julie, we're so proud of you. And um you you're you're our second uh, what, what is it? Mark, we started this last year with editor and publisher. Oh, yes. So you're the class of 2021. We will need you to make sure you keep an eye out for next year's class and look for maybe some all stars on your own team to nominate. But it's just a it's we we I think at E and P, one of the things we understand is your jobs today are not just keeping presses running. Your job today is keep the operation going. And moreover, find ways to make it more profitable right up the line and always be looking for ways to keep us in today's challenging times, if I may say, humming. So the entire operations sector, I think, needs to be saluted more and more importantly, um, recognized more, written about more, and given a little bit more, uh, how should I say it, Todd, kudos? Would that be a good way to put it? Or that sounds that, that, that sounds appropriate, Mike. Boy, Julie and Janet, what a team! Uh, that was fun, and I really got to tell you, Mark, this has been an amazing year for All Stars. I think I think as we continue to do this year after year after year, ENP and ING together, we're just going to see more momentum and more stars rising. Mike, I just wanted to to be noted that uh, the partnership that we have done with you and the investment that you guys have put to make uh, this a truly national platform and provide 
the service to have all of these all-stars be known across the country, I think this is truly up uplifting. And I think it's a great opportunity and a recognition to all those people who nominated the winners. I agree. Um, yeah. And that, that going to be said is the fact that with so many people being nominated, uh, you did a, a wonderful articles in EMP uh, about the different players at certain stages as we were leading up to this. That was monumentous in getting recognition out into the field. And I don't think we could have done that without you. Well, I, I got to give some credit. So if I may go into the, it was, it was Steve Mattingly on your board that bugged the living heck out of me and said, come on. I mean, we, we got it. We got to get the and, and I want and I think he was right. I think operations, along with all the other necessary facets of our of our industry, management, uh, revenue development, audience development, journalism and content. It's just as important that we recognize this sector as well. So thank you. Uh, it's it's an honor to be part of that. So it's the convention continues now. Am I correct, Mark? And it's time for you to take it away. Thank you, Mike. And we're now going to move on to the uh, sponsorship. And thank you for all the work you've done to help us get this far. And I hope all the audience enjoys the uh, development of what we've done and the awards and the winners that you've seen. 